with Pastor Nikolai and uh, Unis play tomorrow at 11. But still, so we could do both tomorrow. Tomorrow morning we're going to have the first setup of Plastic Man. Despacio, have you seen it? Uh, not ready yet, but yeah. not ready yet, but we can. Not ready? No. Tell them that I need the photos just immediately after the show. Oh yeah, you said that. That's yeah. exactly. So yeah. put these comments on. Mm -hmm. You think that you have everything at the control, you have been working for 12 months, but when the time arrives, you are wishing for an extra day to finalize all the details. At 12, we start, we open tomorrow and we need a photo. Ah. Let me just check. Uh, we are actually giving you signal out. Aha, okay. So maybe we can make it loud. Hi, I'm Mo, and uh, I do electronic indie pop with vibes of hip hop and soul. And uh, this is my first time at Sona Festival ever. It's almost like a cult thing, you know. It, this is where you want to play if you're doing electronic music. The creative process of every edition of Sonar never really starts with a blank page because it really starts with a lot of notes, impressions and ideas from the previous year. This is a cultural space that is constantly shifting, it's moving really fast. We've been working on this piece called Machine Variation for a year now. This is the first time we're performing it in Euro. We wanted to put physical gesture into an electronic music piece uh, to have the performer physically involved into making music. It's really about starting to see by the way elements move a story that is rising, you know, and then you have a narrative. And then when you have that narrative, things become way more clear about what should we be talking about. So for instance, defining who is an artist today? Who is a technologist defining the tools that use artists? And who is an entrepreneur creating the distribution models that artists will use to make their, their work available? This is not a linear process anymore. And this is not necessarily three different people anymore. Sometimes we show these changes, sometimes we push these changes, and sometimes we put together different people from different industries, pushing them to do something new. This year, we're going to put together people coming from the audiovisual industry along with people coming from the digital e-commerce sector, trying to come up with different business models for the years to come. When we see, for instance, the way artists are trying, in the context of this festival, to create experiences on a stage that go beyond the normal language of music performance, we definitely want to be an agent in the way the culture of tomorrow takes place. I've been able to come nearly every year and experiment with my ideas, doing earlier Plastic Man shows and uh, like tonight doing the object show. You know, tonight object, kind of, you know, eccentric, mind-bending, Plastic Man ambience, and then tomorrow, full-on dance floor. Sona by day, Sona by night, Plastic Man by day, Haughton by night. So this is where Sonar does it better than actually anybody in the world. Bridging the gaps, connecting people, ideas, technology, creativity, and giving, I think, a lot of inspiration and energy back into the scene. There's many sonars in a way, and many audiences. For some people, sonar is sonar by night, which is the huge space with thousands of people. But sonar is also screenings, talks on panels, workshops, a much more hands-on, debate-based, conversation-driven kind of event. It's 
sometimes Sonar doesn't feel like a festival, more like a festival of festivals where everyone creates their own path.